Hello, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to present you the topic OpenMP Accelerator offloading using OpenCL with PRV. With version 4, OpenMP introduced um, new directors to offload code execution to an accelerator and also to create multiple teams of threads on the device and um, to distribute loops among the thread teams. And these programs can also be combined with the already known Parallel 4. Unfortunately, until now, there are only vendor-specific implementations for these new offloading capabilities, like for CUDA or Xeon Phi. And um, so the motivation, or the idea, is to enable all OpenCL 2.1 devices to be targeted by OpenMP Accelerator offloading. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. And by emitting Spear V, um, we also keep the compiled programs portable across different devices. So let's look at some implementation details. In Clang, the compilation of OpenMP programs is twofold. The Clang driver selects a toolchain for the host compilation and for each specified target. And the main contribution of this work is a modified code generation in the Clang front end. And we will look at this for the exemplatory for the parallel for pragma. This code scheme has the semantics of, the offloaded, um, of some offloaded code sections, starting sequentially with one thread, then fork a number of threads and run in parallel, and then join the threads again and continue sequentially. And uh, the compiler does also exactly this, creates an outline function for the parallel block and calls fork. But as GPUs are inherently parallel architectures, we don't want to fork threads, but need to do quite the opposite. So the um, code outside of the parallel section needs to be guarded so that it is executed by one thread only. And when encountering the, um, a parallel section, we copy shared variables to the OpenCL local memory, close the if branch, and inline the parallel function call. And when re returning from the parallel function, we open a new if thread in x equals zero block, copy back the shared variables, and continue the execution sequentially. Um, at runtime, to offload the code to an accelerator, the host calls to the libOMP target library, which is part of the OpenMP subproject of LVM. And we created a plugin for the SPRV kernels to make the appropriate OpenCL calls for things like context creation, device memory management, kernel compilation, parameter setting, and execution. And now that all things are in place, let's look at some benchmarks. So the first is the Lulesh benchmark represents a typical scientific application and thus can be considered as a real-world benchmark. And specialized implementations are available for various targets like CUDA or OpenCL, but also OpenMP4 with accelerator offloading. But this benchmark brought us a number of challenges. <coughs> the first challenge was the missing front-end support for the declare target pragma, which declares a function to be available on the device. And our solution, which is actually a workaround, was to inline all functions manually with such pragma. And the second challenge was the use of mass functions. Um, but as OpenCL uses name mangling by convention, we were able to map these mass functions to the corresponding OpenCL library functions by enabling name mangling on like everything there. And the results? For this benchmark, as shown as the execution times in seconds for increasing problem sizes. And we can see that for bigger problem sizes, our OpenMP version running on a Radeon RX 560 is faster than 16 threads on an 8-core processor, um, only topped by the OpenCL implementation. But please note that the benchmark uses double precision, and the GPU only supports 1 16th double precision performance. The second benchmark I want to share with you is the yeah, typical Mandelbrot fractal. Um, the kernel needed only two additional lines of code for the following speedups compared to the serial implementation. Here, compilation overhead refers to the context creation, um, refers to context creation and kernel compilation. So with, with compilation overhead, the speedup was um, 27, and while without compilation overhead, that is when running multiple times, the speedup was 327. The equivalent OpenCL implementation reached 222. I, actually, I have no clue why our implementation was faster than the equivalent OpenCL implementation. 
So in general, I think we can say that this approach seems to work, although of course there are still some parts of the specification not yet implemented and optimization is missing. But if you're interested, feel free to get in touch. Thank you. Thank you.